I have decided to join in the race to become the next governor of Lagos State. When the time is right in your life, I will expose you. Ah! Welcome, guys. Um, we are here as fans, as KOB Army, and all the rest, and we have seen the whole thing that happened on social media. Yes. And, um, <laughs> so, um, uh, my first question that I want to ask: um, How will you rate? This first question, ratings. How will you rate the KOB series? Okay, okay. so I'm giving I'm giving her hundred over ten. Hundred over ten. I'm telling okay. you. I'm I telling you. Who is who is who is, who is more of a fan between Okwe and Akin? Okay, so I think Aki, I think Aki is more of a fan, <laughs> but but I've I've followed I've followed Kemi Aditya since like you know Martina Dancehall. She's okay. January eight, I'm January six, so she has always been like my Capricorn sister. Like that's how much, you know, that's how much I followed her. Like you know, so I I love her. Like I literally love her, but I think Aki is more of a fan of Kobo, <laughs> not Kemi Aditya. <laughs> Hey, no, no. Yeah, okay, really? so 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 I'm actually a fan of Kemi. Um, okay. I've been a fan of Kemi since um, before Martina Dancehall. Oh, and okay. Yes, and I've been following her. You know, she was there was a time she was also on radio, and then. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I've been a fan of her, and um, um, when she moved, I you know followed her journey. Went to when she went to the New York Film Academy, as well. And she started doing music videos, did for Bears, did for Banky W. So I've been following her. So, Day, yeah. yeah, and then when she dropped when you party, uh, you know, wow. it was the it was the biggest thing. And then KOB. Okay. And I became <laughs> I became a stan, so not a fan. So, <laughs> stan account. Yeah, so I'm a stan, I'm a stan KOB. Chi, Chi, are you a fan of Kemi or a fan of uh, KOB, which one? Uh, I think I'm none of that. No, oh, okay. Indifference. Yeah, yeah, Indifference. Like yeah, just, Indifference, yeah, just, just, just enjoy the movie. Okay, so I'm even surprised at myself that I watched KOB 2 and I loved it. To be frank, I didn't finish KOB 1. Like, I found it boring. For me, mm -hmm. as a person, I found it boring. I couldn't finish it. And I was like, for three hours, what the hell am I watching, actually? Like, it was a whole lot of... At the point, I just gave up. Like, what's this? I said to work Wait, sorry, you sorry, sorry, can, I, can I ask you a question, Chi? Yeah. The KOB one that you watched. Mm -hmm. You watched it on Netflix, am I correct? On Netflix, yeah. That's why. I watched that in cinema. That's why. <laughs> for, most, for most people that watch, that, that had a different feeling about KOB1 was because they watched it on, on Netflix. Next, if, you Netflix. Had, if, you yeah, what, what, if you had gone to the cinema, if you had gone to the cinema to watch KOB1, you would have had a different no, but, experience. But I, don't think, I don't think it should mean or it should it matter. A good movie is a good movie, regardless of where I see it. Whether I see it in a cinema or I see it on a TV streaming site or a movie streaming site, so like, I should sorry, have sorry, the same I want to ask you a question. So right. seven hours. What made you sit down for seven hours and not for three hours? No, you know the problem. The problem here is this. I didn't even know how I was able. I didn't know when okay. I started. I didn't know when I finished. But I'm like, how? 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 Like, Are you how serious? Did I get to, I'm serious. Like it was. Okay. I was even surprised. I woke up. I started by. Um, I started Friday. No, I started. Saturday night, somehow, even with sleep, I struggled and all that. So at the point, I had to just pause. I went to bed. Woke up 3 a.m. to continue watching <laughs> King of Boy. Like, and that is unusual for me as a person. Yeah. Like, I'm not a movie. For me, I, 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 I might think that the reason why I didn't enjoy part one was because there was more of Yoruba. So I think you would see, even though this part two, there was still Yoruba, but you could really see yeah, the balance. You could really, really see the balance there. So if you, if you, I'm really serious. Like I, a lot of people actually said that they didn't really like Kill Bill. They, they, it was interesting, but maybe not as much. Was because they found that language barrier. But if you notice in this part too, 
the Igbo, they spoke it like it was, they didn't even mix it at all. Sorry, sorry, Chi, sorry, Chi, before, before you respond to that, I just want to add something. Um, I just wanted to say something concerning watching, yeah, a good movie is a good movie, no doubt, but you can have different experiences watching the same movie. You could watch a movie um, um, in a cinema and have a different experience watching it on your mobile phone. I ask, so when, when I see people say, oh, they don't like KOP1, I ask them, where did you watch it from? Or some people will say, oh, on Netflix, where? On your mobile phone. It is on my no, mobile, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying it is. I'm, I'm, I'm saying when I ask people, I'm not even saying that's how you watch the yours. Uh, okay. I'm saying when I ask people. And I'm like, have you ever seen, have you ever felt differently when you watch a, a movie on your phone? And then have a like large screen. On, a, on a large screen. It's, it's, it's just like playing games. They are all, the experience is always slightly okay. different. So that's one. Two, um, sometimes movies are produced for cinemas. And then when they are taking to Netflix, so when they say produce for cinema, the way they will do the sound and audio. So let's say a sort a five surround, for instance, the experience is different from when you're not watching it on one small speaker in, in, in your living room. It's usually different. No, 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 it's usually uh, different. So uh, if you no, so if you hear if you hear like a gunshot, it's just like watching a normal movie and then saying a good movie is a good movie when you're watching it on a 3D or a 4D. It will be slightly different. It will definitely be different. So for most people, I tell them, you know what? If you really try and watch a movie twice, if you still don't like it, then, then miss it. That means it is not really your cup of tea. Yeah. Or, oh. yeah, because, because for instance, um, I've seen a movie before that I, I found myself dozing while watching it the first time. I'm like, but the, the day I was going to watch it again and I set my mind, you know what? I'm just going to clear it out. I'm going to watch this movie again. Then I enjoyed it. That's one. Two, just to add, is that when a movie has been hyped before you see it, it sets a precedence for you. And then instead of you just watching that movie, you, you, know, you always try to wait for the gang, 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 gang. She be they hype this movie. Me, I'm going to see what they've been hyping I, I about. Think, and yeah. it gives you a different experience. I think, I think, I think that's, that's what happened. I think, I think that's what happened to me because everybody was like, King of Boys, King of Boys. And at a point, I was like, okay, I'm not a movie. I do not really watch movies. I just watch movies to induce sleep for me, basically, that's you, what I do. <laughs> yes, but, and that's why I'm surprised with King of Boys to like, I'm surprised that I started, I slept, woke up, and I wanted to watch it again. And the part where I said uh, the language, I think for me, I find it interesting that um, people are beginning to, movie makers are beginning to embrace who we are. Like, we don't speak English every day, like, you don't walk down the streets and every time you're speaking English, there are times when you have to speak Yoruba, you have to speak Igbo and all that. So I even find it, I think the little Yoruba I know, I think it's from movies and all that, I pick them. I was like, oh, okay, this is what this, because there's a trans, there's a translation actually. Yeah. So I just take notes. Oh, okay, Mafo actually means that, okay, you should, you know, that kind of thing basically. So I yeah. hear these things every day on the road and sometimes I don't even know the meaning. Mm. But I just know that, oh, okay, Mafo, eh, Jimasu, all those kind of stuff. So I just hear them on the road. But when I now started seeing them in the movies, I cannot relate to mm. the situation of the, um, what's it called? Um, the context. The context to which you can use some of those words. So I think the language, I think I'm okay with the language. Was not exact? I think, so what happened basically for King of Voice 1 for me, just as Akin had said, was I had an expectation in my head. And mm -hmm. I, I really wanted it to, I don't know, who had made that painting for me. And I really wanted that painting I had in my head to match what I was seeing on the screen. Mm. And when it wasn't matching, I just got tired and I slept okay. off. Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. I, my, my, for, for the next question I want to ask is, um, what did it for you? Okay, let me start with Chamaka because we're indifferent. What did <laughs> it for you for KOB the series? That one, the, the one they not do for, do it for you, I mean. So I think because it came in bits, for me, I think because it came in bits, it was a series, limited series. So mm -hmm. you wouldn't know when you spent that long, um, that up to how many hours, it was 55, 55 minutes there about for each, um, season, for each um, episode. So roughly seven hours. You wouldn't even know when you sit down at a stretch and consume and basically use that to Okay. So, um, um, so I think that was what <laughs> made, did it for me. That was okay. it. Yes. 
Okay, what did it for you for KOB? Okay, so they found since you watched one and two. So yeah. what was the difference? What was the difference for you? What was the difference for me or what did it for me? What was the difference for you? There was not much difference actually. Shalasha Bawale killed it per usual. Um, I wasn't actually expecting less. Trust me, I wasn't expecting less at all. Like literally I just went top notch. You know, the suspense alone. I think the suspense did it for me, Sha, because I was just so eager to like, what's next? What's next? What's happening? Like, okay. like with this Lagos State governor's wife, just you know, because she was really gaming and aiming like, oh, she has legs and all of that. So the suspense literally did it for me. And it just really wanted me to watch more and just keep watching and just keep watching. And then the action, like when Shala Shibawale is crying, you want to cry with her. When she's uh-uh. screaming, you feel like, like I'm about to cry. <laughs> it's like I'm, really, about to I'm really serious. <laughs> like when, when she's screaming, you... You feel you feel it when she's doing everything. And the part where, where she was actually getting soft, I wanted to like just really know more. Like, we should really talk to a Christian. We should <laughs> we should stop we should stop being mean. We should, so I I think that just really that really did it for me. Like I just really wanted to just know what was going to happen next. Like what's the next thing? What's going to happen? We should change. Okay. I was really thinking she was going to change, but then she won't be king of voice if she actually turns to a good person. So yeah, that, that literally like made me continue watching like the the part two. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Akin, what 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 was it for you? What was the difference and what did it for you? Man. Don't don't tell don't tell me everything. Don't no, just tell me everything. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> <laughs> there were there were there were uh, of course when we get to that part. But for me, what really did it for me uh would be the quality of production. Oh, quality of production was no, I can't imagine how much Netflix literally paid her for that. I have but, an idea. I know the amount, but it's not for me to say here. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. I want to hear. Give yes. us a read. Give us a read. Give us this now. Give us this. Give us it. Seven digits in dollars. So, yeah. Jaw <laughs> dropped. Yeah, seven digits in dollars. So, yeah, okay, guys. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So, but, but I, what I'm, did it for me? What I think did I did about some now. <laughs> So what did it for me really is um, quality, uh, the cameras. In fact, if you really want to know, just watch. After watching two, try and watch part one. You would oh, yeah. see the difference yeah. immediately. Like, oh, I, okay. I, I, I tried to do that. I yeah, you see that. the difference. And I noticed that like, the cameras, I had to just give up again. The, the lightning, the lightning, the cameras, um, um, the costume. Oh. Damn. <laughs> it was mad. So then, See, every time, sorry then, to cut you short. Okay. Every time Shalasha Bowale in your last dynamic stepped out, it was exactly. it was a carnival. Every yeah. time Jumoke Randall stepped out, oh God, I don't know who designed the outfit Jumoke so, wore. You, they you, also you like, said it, was just, it, it was everything about that production was intentional. Was just, it was yeah. intentional. They 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 made sure that they nailed each scene when it comes to costume so costume did it for me lightning quality of the camera i could i could see their skin pores like literally the the sharpness the quality of the cameras was was really really mad the lightning there was this um blend of color so, gels so, so that it like now it's 4k 4k tv is the watch it for you know see pause well, I, mean, I, <laughs> I understand what you're saying now. i'm not saying you, you know, if you watch this on a Please don't watch KOB on the phone. I, 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 I've been trying to tell everybody, if you want to really enjoy it, don't watch it on the phone. So uh, those were the things that did it for me. And then the plot twist, like um, uh, Opa said, plot twist was really, really mad in terms of uh, giving people what not to expect. Like some things you would try and read it, like could it be this? And then at the end, there, were double, there was a double plot twist. Like, you know, so all of those things all together did it for me. And it made it, you know, a, a world class standard production. So, okay. Just with the quality. Right. Uh, uh, when you're talking about that costume, uh, yeah, the, I, I think the costume actually did it for me. The outfit did it for me. Because I knew where I knew it was intentional was when the outfit for Adi Tiger made him look like bad guy, the rock. As in everything you want in, in a bodyguard, you understand? Mm-hmm. That is mm-hmm. big coats that would be flying around, 
as he's following mm-hmm. and you know, salami behind, like, okay, this one protecting, protecting. <laughs> protecting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. But now, if I'm to ask you, based on what you guys have said, mm, what other movie or other series in Nigeria right now had had come close or <laughs> she's already okay. shaking her head. <laughs> so, so, so I think I think I think the thing is um in terms of okay. action in terms okay. of action you can actually you can't actually you know say okay this is like the kidney but in terms of series the men's club not in terms of quality i'm not but in terms of storyline and the suspense and the interesting stuff for me i think the men's club you know not it didn't come close Sha, but that's like another series that i would literally say i literally enjoy is it on is it on netflix no it's not <laughs> it's on youtube it's on youtube yeah and so she's like i just want to know so i can go and check it out because i've not heard of it so that's <laughs> what I'm you heard about the men's club like I it's very girls, very it's actually skinny girls skinny girl in transit that as well like had yeah, a good. good like had a good production um it's close but it cannot be like what we yeah that's what i'm saying there. different story okay. yes i mean for me for me to answer, to answer that question camera. Camera. <laughs> well um so i've not been watching Nigerian series. The only Nigerian series that I watch is this series that. Series or um, fame, which one? So I watch Nigerian movies, um, okay. blockbusters, um, Nigerian Nollywood blockbusters. But um, in terms of series, I think the only ones I uh, I watch that I'm really keen about are very few, and that's the one. Um, so there's this one, um, African Magic, usually produces every year. Uh, so they do like which usually almost last a year they would shoot and then um you could watch as much as 200 or something episodes they've been doing it for a few years now and they've mm-hmm. been yeah no no not since so not not since so so they've been doing i'm um, i'm sure you've heard it's, they started with i think jimmy g and all of those series so you know they keep improving every year so right now they are doing one that's called riona and that's the one i watch and in terms of a bit of quality and then this um this other one that has this girl that was in big brother uh, that is directed by Anis Holloway. Um, unmarried. Yeah. Unmarried. No, no, no. Unmarried. Yeah, married. Uh, unmarried. So those are the two that I, you know, that I've been watching. So, but for me, I really can't see any series that comes close. I'm sorry. Okay. Even though this is a limited so, series, I don't see any series. So, I've not uh, seen. So. Okay. So, uh, Kemi tweeted something on Twitter. Okay. And um, for me, I, I'll, I'll reserve my own comments for now. I just want to hear your comments. And she said, is it safe to say that she broke the sophomore curse? In- of course she did. Yes, she did. She did. Yes, she did. <laughs> she, did. she did in a grand style. And I'm even scared for her now. Do you understand? <laughs> like she, she has set she the bar too high. Uh, too high that's, that she can't I'm even... For her. I, she I can't even. She, she can't even afford to. She can't afford to do it. Because I'm sure that they'll definitely pay her for season three. They'll pay her for season three. Of, of, the, of this so, movie, there's so surely be a part of, three. All of you are sure that there's going to be a season three. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Tweeted, so she actually tweeted it. She tweeted, so somebody said something about having season three. Oh, that we should have, uh, I think we should have another prequel. Uh, so some, she now said, uh, no, sequel. She now said uh, prequel. I'm now scared for prequel because prequel means we're going to go back. Wow. And we, I, I'm, I'm scared because we actually want to see more of Shola, but it will be good because we will see more of Tony Tones. Tony Tones, yeah. So, so she's saying prequel. So, I, I, all I know is that there's going to be another one because she can't just stop now. Once you started, once you started a journey like this, it's like um, Fast and Furious. You never know where it will take never you. You could go as season nine. You never know. Where it will take F9 failed us. Uh, <laughs> We're not talking about F9. 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 But I mean, so, it's, 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 possible. it's possible. I guess so. Okay, so um, uh, when when people were saying, people were talking about um, KOB and the army and everything, and people were criticizing uh, a whole lot, and people were talking about how, um, what do you think the Nigerian um, film was for fans? What do you think they criticized? Of movies, I think for me, I think maybe they're just because of 
I'm sad to say that I feel some people are just being hypocritical. They just they just watch the American movie, the Hollywood movies, and they enjoy it, and they don't appreciate a good work. That is just for me, my own personal opinion. So, what do you see? What do you think about people, you know, criticizing? Um, so you so want I, to feel go, like, I, I feel the criticisms, right, um, is expected. So there's no way you do something, whether it's good, whether it's bad, people will definitely talk. Like, if people are not talking, that means you've not done anything, right? So, and but what I feel is this, maybe they fail to understand that Nollywood is not as old as, I'm just saying, the Nigerian movie industry is not as old as Hollywood, is not as advanced as it is. So for them to start expecting some kind of things and all that, we're getting there. If you look at the movies that are being produced now, they're not, they're not totally bad. But of course, we know that there's still room for improvement. There's still some places they need to do a lot, a bit of touch-ups here and there and all that. If you compare them to movies that were produced a few years back, let's even talk, say, um, five years ago and all that. If you compare the both of them, you would always, you would actually see the difference. So I don't think it's out of place for people to talk. People will definitely talk. But um, I think what they just have to have in mind is this. They've done a good job, and we know that it's going to continue to get better from this point. Like, it's not good. Even looking at KOB 1 and looking at KOB 2 already, we, we can see, see the difference, difference already. Like, you understand? So that means it's going to continue to get better from this point. It can't go back to okay. what it used to be at all. If, if I'm going to, you know, talk about the criticism, let me first, you know, Put this disclaimer before I bash you know, <laughs> people. You criticizing the movie for some parts or criticizing some things does does not still make that movie a bad movie. A bad movie yeah. You can you can see flaws, but still, and that film can still be rated a nine over ten or a ten over ten. So criticizing a movie shouldn't be throwing the baby and the you know um, the bathwater together. That's, so that's going to be the first thing. So I, I read through some of the criticism and I was just there laughing. Some of, because some of the questions or some of the critics that, you know, people were going on about, or criticism rather, that people were going on about, the most of those answers are in the movie, most of them. That's one. Two, Nigerians have been so used to stories being told black and white. They're not used to... Um, 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 the Kunle Afolayan kind of movies that it leaves you open-ended. It leaves you to questions. So people are used to the director showing Let's a happy the ending. End. They want to know, you know, every question has to, you know, um, be, answered. be answered in a scene. Yeah. Meanwhile, it could have been answered in a line. You know, someone could just say it in a line. They don't need to create a scene for it, but some of them have been so used to eight flashbacks that you want to see 15 flashbacks to to understand what's in. So that's the first thing. So, so some Nigerians who are criticizing have been so used to rubbish that they were expecting the story to be told like that. Imagine somebody asking, what is the backstory? How could Eniola Badmos be controlling or could have controlled presidency? Um, the, um, the election Eniola, of, Eniola of Salami, Eniola, sorry, Eniola Salami. <laughs> Eniola Salami controlled the presidency, the winning of the presidency. And you forgot that this same Enela Salami told them in part one, told Ire, or told somebody that she she controlled 20 something states, the election of 20 something states in part one. She 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 made sure that 20 something governors. So, so some people, you know, just want flashbacks and all that. That's one. Two, some of the criticism I I, I saw showed um, the extent that bigotry has been entrenched in our system. For instance, I saw some I saw some people saying, how come all the Igbos died in the movie? And I'm like, and, I, and I'm like, hello, okay. I'm like, you guys forgot that Odogu Malay killed the Yoruba villain in part yeah. one. And we liked it. And we all liked it. And there was even a line that he said just before he shot Makanaki in part one. And we all loved it. So how come you guys are so sensitive to things? So, but I mean, to some extent, um, some I, one of my friends put um, on Twitter, put it in a better way too. She, so she said, sometimes this is just to raise consciousness and all of that. And I'm like, see, yeah, we can, but it doesn't make the movie a bad movie. 
and one of the critics who just went on for two days, I, I don't know how you hate a movie, and you sat down seven hours to finish the movie, and then, you know, start criticizing, and you then blocked, you then got blocked by the owner of the movie, and then you start writing again. What, please, what do you want? <laughs> so for me, um, if you want to critique a movie, I have things I want to critique about the movie, but does it make it a bad movie? No, it doesn't. No. They, so you can you can criticize the movie for some things that you see and you're like ah no they should have done this better for we're not because you've not asked questions on what we want to critique on for now so I won't say it yet but there are things you can critique on but that movie will still be a bang do you understand so that's it for me so the movie was good so good actually so. But if you want to critique, critique with sense. Don't okay. expect all your answers to be, you know, to be okay. answered. Oh, my, yeah, next, be answered. Next, my next question is, um, so um, Tony Twist came out and she talked about how she was able to go in sync with uh, Shalas Bawali because people were loving their, uh, what is it called? Their, their image, their, their working was good. And Tony Twist said, that she had to, you know, move in with Enola Salami to, uh, to understand her, you understand her movement. Oh, moved in with her? Yes, she said she moved in with her. And in because of uh, production, she said she damaged her voice when she was trying so, you know, to hit, meet that high pitch of Enola Salami. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah? What would you, would you say this is, um, how would you rate her professionalism? What do you have to say about it? Okay, so... Um, in Hollywood, you will see that a Christian Bale would actually lost like 50 pounds or a Thor can actually gain like 100 pounds mm -hmm. just to just to act a particular movie. We're setting the standards. This is not the former Hollywood where you will see a billboard carrying a billboard of 15 years or 20 years ago carrying Airtel bill, <laughs> Airtel, mm -hmm. Airtel signboard or something like that. Times have changed, and I really love that they went the extra mile, and you could really see that. And I like okay, so even her losing her voice, um, you could see what Ken Meditiba did there. That they made sure there was an echo whenever she, Tony Tones was speaking, so that you would not notice the crack in her voice. You know, even though it was a bit you, it could show, but then you could see that whenever she was talking, they put that she was yeah, there. Well, that, are you are you are you sure they put? that reverb there because of her voice or it was intentional because she was so, a spirit so voice I, so i think it might be intentional but then again it also helps to forget the crow that is making noise um you could actually um then you could actually she, we understand. <laughs> but 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 for me, I actually really like actually like what they did there. It wasn't very visible that her voice was lost, but you could still hear her straining at some point. Yeah, you know. But that that you call it reverb, right? That really helped to cover that out. Like you could you could you could actually you you would think like it was actually like an effect that you know that it did to her voice to make it you know a bit cracky and give that. But it yeah. was really, really nice. I, mean, I, really... I, I mean, if, 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 sorry, if um, Stephen yeah. had not mentioned it now, I wouldn't even know that she cracked her voice. She cracked the voice, right? I didn't even know. I didn't, because <laughs> for me, I felt like Tony Tunes had a voice, Shala Shobawa, they had a voice. They obviously cannot be at the same level. So it is expected that, I, I wasn't expecting Tony Tunes to match um, Shola's level of voice. Otherwise, then you would lose your voice. So trying to <laughs> match her voice, you know, so but I mean, so when I saw that in some parts they would deliberately add this sound effect to her voice, it was just to make what she was saying for me. I felt like that was the whole idea. It was just to make what she was saying really, really more vibrant. Found. Yeah, more vibrant. Like, see, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm speaking sense to you and all of that. So if you had not mentioned it, I wouldn't know. So for me personally, Tony Tones, um, moving in with um, Shola Shabali to land um, that delivery sh that she gave us was probably the best move. That means we are now moving in the Hollywood territories where people would sit. You want to play a blind man, a blind man, go sit with a blind man. Go study how blind men work or talk. You know, don't just assume in your head, this is how a blind man works. So for her to have done that with Shola, then today it was worth it because now we're all applauding her for her delivery. I mean, if there's anybody who deserves best supporting actress now, this year, it's Tony Tones. And I just oh, also, I, oh, I want to oh, say oh. something. Please, this is just like 
a sound of warning to AMVC or whatever it is. <laughs> if they dare snob high again, like mm -hmm. I'll literally <laughs> this time, I know Oscar will definitely just have to like they, they yeah. really we'll, need to we'll pick. Cut, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. We'll not, we'll they really out. need to pick <laughs> Sholashobawale or the Okeobi because it's amazing. My, Seriously, my, my, I, I was really, my, I was my really, fear, really my, fear my fear, my fear for mm. them. Let me tell you my fear now. Let, let me tell you my fear. My fear is that. In what category now are we going to put them? What I mean by that is this. It was delivered right. as a series, not as a movie. And this ought to be shattering all the awards. Like this movie ought to be shattering yeah, all the awards. Okay, so now, I'm but, so scared for them. But if you put if you put if you put um Tony Tunes as uh what is it called? As um category best for best button actress, where yeah. would you put say Etim? You've also, you can have you can have two best supporting actors. I mean nominees from yeah. your office. Okay, From so who movie, is your yeah. best supporting actress? <laughs> Insane. For me, it was actually Insane. I'm going to give Insane because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> she I delivered that classy, yet very slaughtery um, character. Like, she was classy, yeah? But then again, when Shola Shabawale explained her backstory, then you could not see why she was a bit slotty in some parts and she delivered everything <laughs> like it was it was really really it was really really nice you know what it, you know you know the best you know just the best scene for me yeah. was when the yeah. husband where the old um <laughs> the old twist happened yeah. and then yeah. they were in the office and the other was like the other wanted to eat her i was like okay go ahead. Like, go ahead go ahead <laughs> That part, like, oh my so, gosh, she was. So, you could still see the boss lady, and then still, she was still scared. But then again, she just gave it. She gave it a oh no no no. Okay, so so for me, it's hard, and I agree with everything you said about Inse, uh, but it's hard. It's fifty fifty for me, and let me tell you why it is fifty fifty. Inse delivered. In, in, like just like Shola Shobali, Inse was made for that role. And she killed it. Agree, you know, and there are some roles, and there are some roles that not a lot of people can. You can't find a lot of people replicate that role and deliver it like that. So in her case, she delivered it. However, where, this is where Tony Tones, you know, because for Tony, might have an edge. yeah, might have an edge for Tony's role. I want to tell you that there, um, for the most part, she wasn't talking to anyone when they were shooting her. She was talking to herself. And for you to deliver. That role, you know, for Issa's role now, maybe she had um, people or she had a husband or, you know, there were so many things, it, it was a set role. But for you to be playing a spirit, we've been seeing spirits in Hollywood movies. They're not they like, playing like that. Ignored, like, you know, you, exactly. Nobody, and you're not getting, you know, you're, 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 you're delivering a role that nobody's, nobody's giving you a response. You know, you, you are not, it's not, it's not a dialogue that you're saying something and that person is responding, but you're, you're talking to like a stick. And Yona is just there. And, and Tony was going around delivering her lines. Okay. It's crazy. So for me, it's crazy. It's, it's just like doing a monologue. In, in, in fact, let me, that's just what it is. That's what it was, yeah. So it was a monologue. So, so that, and, and, and it's harder. So I think that is the only reason. So, but for nomination, both of them did. So if any of them wins it, it's fine by me. But both of them do deserve to be nominated for best for best supporting actress, both of them. Okay, do you agree? Who who's your, who's who is your best supporting actress? No, so um, I think um, Aki already just put the distinction between the both of them, right? Um, mm -hmm. When you're talking to yourself, like you you don't expect someone to give you feedback at any point in time. I even think Enyola Salami, okay, older Enyola Salami also did a lot of work herself because someone is talking to you and you are trying hard not to respond. She lacks a lot of, I don't know, restraint. That's a lot of restraint. Like someone is really talking to your ear. She would have guessed how many how many takes she would have had. Because she would probably have chipped in at a point. Oh, you get that kind of stuff. So I feel like. Um, but when you are talking, someone is someone else is responding. You are acting. I think it's more like you, your reaction is a function of um, 
whatever um, information this other person has passed on to you, basically. So it makes it a lot easier for you to go. But the both of them, I think, Nse delivered a stellar performance. Like she, she delivered a stellar performance. But Tony, oh God, that part was. Bring, bring, it brings me to another. It brings me to another question now. Um, would you agree that Sola Sobowale was underrated? Underrated where? So, in the movie industry, in Hollywood movie industry, uh, apart from Toyin Tomato mm -hmm. in Suara, in Super mm -hmm. Story, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. And then Shinai came on because recently, in the last, mm -hmm. uh, the last, in this recent times, the body mm -hmm. Sinai, Wedding Party, mm -hmm. and King of Boys. Mm -hmm. So, uh, she has not been used a lot. Except Ken, oh, Ken, Ken, okay. Ken. So, so, I get where you're coming from. No, 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 no. She has not been underrated. So, <clears throat> um, she has not been underrated. As you grow in the movie industry, sometimes for some people, you begin to pick your movies. You don't just act in all movies. I can, you know, there. I'm, I'm probably sure since Wedding Party, a lot of people must probably have because she's also one of the and reasons I, why we all loved, loved Wedding Party. And I'm sure our money is not small money. Yeah, so. that's what so the money, I'm, I'm, the money I'm has upped now. I'm even when next week I've come to your profile. <laughs> I'm even but you know, but sorry, you know one thing? People keep forgetting that she was actually in Diamond Ring. That she was the mother of that guy in Diamond Ring in 1997. Yeah. Are you serious? With Ram, yes. yes, with RMD. But, so but people in, keep on that. Ring, I have keep not looking. You, you know, Wale doesn't you, act as much movies. No, she, she does, does actually. She does. Oh. She does. She 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 and she's a crossover um, actor. Yoruba, English, Igbo. She's there. So for me, I think that she probably. And then um, I noticed that there was a time she relocated. She, she, yeah, she has not she been in Nigeria, to, UK, UK. to the UK. So I feel that is also one of the reasons why she can't be taking up any scripts. Because if somebody is already out of the country and you need to fly them into the country, you know what that's going to say to your budget. So, and I also feel, I'm not sure, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying this from sources, but I also feel that those are some of the reasons. And probably she's already picking her movies. At that age, you don't just, it's just like Irriti Doyle. You don't see Irriti Doyle in every movie. You know, so at certain ages, you don't just see everybody. Um, you don't just see set, certain people in all movies. They can't be, you know, the Nollywood industry is now so... So you can't see her in all movies. So I do not think she is underrated. I think she's well respected in the industry. I think people give her a lot of respect. Um, and ever since Wedding Party, she, she, she has been delivering. And since King of Boys won, I mean, so you can't call that, that you can't call that underwritten. It may just be it, it may just be a thing of principal scripts. I have um for instance, um um what's her name? I think Insa said when she okay, I was watching the make the behind the scene, and Insa said there was a scene where Insa said when she saw the script, she was like, You must be joking. Two hundred and something page or three and something page, like like what is this? You know, so sometimes. And I re oh yeah, I also remember. I also remember when she when um, Shola had her first uh, uh, interview for Kilby One. I said um, when she saw the script that she was scared, and she told Kemi that see this role is made for me. Do you understand? And when they did Kill B One and it was a success, and when they did Kill B Two, um, I remember Kemi posting a video of both of them. Shola was crying watching her own movie like she was crying so imagine somebody who has gone through all of that you can't just throw any script at them standard don't high then you can't just do all those movies that you do can, 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 can. all those are not even good so all those are Saba movies my prince my <laughs> yeah, prince yeah, movies or, queen mother uh -huh, or those abekuta, abekuta movies and all of that so so i so okay. i do not think she's uh underrated i just think you know, okay. level has so we're hoping, we're hoping to see her in more stellar movies. Okay, that's being said. So, which uh, cast, which cast among the cast, among the actors, and um, which which surprise actor did it for you? Which surprise actor? Uh, for me, okay, let, let, let me go first. Let me go first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why do everybody mention Odudu Bariba? Okay, 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 so for me, I think what, boy. I think what Odudu Bariba did was he just um. His personality, his real life personality, was what he just uprooted and planted in Udo de Bariba. Like it wasn't a struggle at all for him. Like it was not a struggle. I mean, he had to. The fact that even mentioned that he said he was the one that named 
that road would do the bad. So like, it was just it was just him. So it was natural to him. Like he didn't have to struggle with it. He delivered. Like he delivered at every point. The people I didn't just understand so much was just those other elders that were just sitting right beside him. I didn't understand those elders <laughs> at all. But Odu the Bari elders have been there since part one. I understand, and, yeah. but like the boy is very stupid, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but the person that really surprised me really more was Ade. I'm glad that we saw more of Ade. You know, in part one, it was just very quiet. Mm. I'm sure his, his lines were not up to ten lines in part one. Oh, hello. They are, you know, that was what he was literally doing in part one and following Adesua and all of them around. But I love the fact that it really shone forward. Like, you could really see it. Like, I had to find him. And I know it's Kuti or um, Titi yeah, yeah, Kuti or something. Titi Kuti. That's like, Titi Kuti. yeah, it was just really, it was really, really nice to see him replacing Kem, um, um, Adesua in part one. Like, you could see, one, yeah, you could see Shola Shobawale, you know, taking see taking him as a son and you know it was really was really it delivered that role for me because at some point you you went i was scared i thought he really betrayed her oh at I some point i thought there was like a sexual um tension yeah, at some point you know <laughs> yeah. yeah at some yeah. point yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. For real. Did not it, there was sexual for tension. Real. a lot of people said they were even expecting them to kiss at some point that, Twitter, then that would I now be that. like the Nigeria. I saw that. I, 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 saw, that I saw that on Twitter. I saw that. So, 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 with, so with that, the guy just really like you couldn't just really predict what he was doing. You so, know, so, like in I, I, I think I think that's Stella, that, Stella that credit should be given to scriptwriter because that is what you yeah. call character development. So they developed Adi Tiger for us. They really for us did. To see another they really side. Did. They really so did. it didn't really speak much as well. But I think what shown him out was the was the road the itself, the loyalty, the yeah. and his courage. Yes. So for for many it's of us, yeah. So for many of us, that was what India does more like. Uh, so, but you see that Odudu Bariba for me. Personally, it was more of the fact that. So I agree with you. I would, I would probably, you know, hear, hearing you say this now, I would also say Adi Tiger was surprising. Uh, Titi Kuti, it was surprising. He has gained many followers now. A lot of ladies are in love with him right now as I speak. Yeah, I tell you that for free. I know somebody will say she just wants to get pregnant for him. So let's start, let's do that by let's do that by this side. Anyways, so um, but for me, Odudu Bariba because his character in real life. You know, such a such a person. You know, if Titi Kuti didn't do well, there'll be no yardstick to judge him on. But sure, you see somebody like um, um, Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy, because we know him, we sort of have an idea of his personality. It would have been easier for us to judge him if he had failed. So for him to have now stepped up, so it's like Makanaki. For him to have now stepped up. And give us that, deliver that role for us. Also made it really, really nice. So for me, both of them, I would, I would, you know, just hearing you talk about the tiger now, I would agree that both of them, you know, were really, really surprised. But I would mm -hmm. give Odudu Bariba his name alone, you know, and his poise. He had so much poise. So there was this courage for that head of table. He had it, the fingers. And for me, I was just wondering. He wanted another ring. But all his hands were filled with rings. Where was he going to it's put it? It's very simple now. They're, they're going to remove, you're going to remove those one of the old ones and put in one that fitted. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. for me, for me, for me, I think the, the, my best, my best surprise actor for me, because I've heard, we've heard about, we have seen actors own, own their, their, their role by just one scene. Mm. And for me, it was Boxer. Boxer owned his scene. He did not make a statement throughout, but it only did, at that scene, no, only that's at that scene, scene that, okay, that's where scene. he was, yeah, at that scene where he was accused. Like, you could see the surprise, you could see the fear in his eyes. Like, ah, <laughs> Boxer, Boxer did maybe, it for me. Maybe because I've seen Boxer in this other movie, um, this, um, what's that movie? Where they went to steal some money, where these guys, um, 
he stole money from his parents. He's on Netflix too. Where he stole money okay. from? Um, from his mom. Um, I've forgotten this movie. Why have I forgotten the title? So boxer in that role, yes. you know, he was also like a villain, you know, and he had. So I, I, I so I wasn't like, so I wasn't too surprised when I saw him in this one. I'm like, okay, he's already used to this kind of role. So maybe oh. that's why I'm not giving him so much. Um, All right, that's, because he's that's, already that's, that's cool. I just want, I just, just for me to round up. Okay, so currently right now, who is uh, because uh, the star actors and act, uh, actors for this movie are the, are the ladies, the female actress. I just want to ask, just there, throwing it out. Uh, I can name your top four Nigerian actress, and it goes for everybody. So I can from go the movie or from no, or no, just no. generally for Nollywood right now. <sighs> That's hard. Maybe the girls should go so that I can have enough time to think. <laughs> okay, do you want to go first? So, um, the top, so which are you asking? Your personal this movie? No, 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 just in Nollywood right now. In Nollywood, mm -hmm. my best act actress or actors? Act actors. Actress. No, actress, I mean actress, four, top four. Okay, so Shalasha Bawale, obviously, for obvious reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Hmm. Messi Johnson. True. Um, I'm looking at people that I, I follow um, yeah, personally because yeah. there's some people that you can't follow everyone really. Mm. Um, once again, that when I see their movies, I really want to watch what they've actually done. Okay. Yes, I follow Fukadi Akindele. Yeah. Number number yeah. one, from, okay. Number one, Shalashamara. Number two, from Kakidele. Number three, Messi Johnson. Then number four, uh, I'm trying to look at the fourth person. There are actually a lot of them. I, I really, I really like a lot of the the females. I feel like they. Okay. Then Inse, she's really good. Okay, she's so she's underrated, but she's she's <laughs> really really good. So she, like she, she for you. She quite, like she, she really quite. she really does her thing, and it's amazing. So for you know. me, um, I, I think it's going to be the same, um, the same, the same sequence, just like okay. where Shala Shabowale, except my fourth best will be Shala Shabowale comes first, Funka Kindele comes second, Mr. Johnson comes third, and fourth will be Toyin Abraham. Like that lady is amazing. Like I love her movies. Okay. I love uh, her. Okay. Okay for you. Uh, so for me, I think I also agree uh, with just one or two different um, actresses. So Shala Shubali, obviously, Inse. Um, two, um, Funke Akedele also. And um, I think the other person I would add would be Inidima. Inidima, oh, nice one, yeah. Yeah, so in, I think I will add in it. Also my... very good. Yeah, I will add very good. Uh, so but, but it's I just, just sad that you're I just, I just feel like I feel like those ought to be in that list as well. Now. Yeah. Now. I feel like I feel like Cindy, <laughs> Sharon, they're all in, like in, in the generation. Same. Yes, they're yeah, all yeah, just yeah. like just like so. Okay, little, for me, yeah, yeah. for me, for me, for 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 comedy, I'll give it to Mr. Jensen. Uh, Shalash Bawale second. Um, uh, Shafi Bello third. Zena Balogo Oh, Shafi. 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 Yeah, Zena. Zena is also very good. You know, um, let me let me imagine in my head on behalf of Kemi, like you want to do another part four. You know, have, have like a Shafi. Okay. Have like a Shafi in the role of Odudu Bariba. <laughs> so have Shafi just, and and Shalashuba they go head to head. Oh God. Oh. Just 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 stop, just, stop just, me on dreams, man. Just, just, to, just to make it the last, the last question, just a quick one. Who do you think would have? Played? Okay, we know that Shalash Bawale killed this role. Mention one actress that you know would have owned this role also, like as King of Voice. None. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. Nobody. Nobody. In Hollywood, uh, nobody. She, she, well, she well, I think Funke, Funke would have actually killed nope. it. Nope. I think Funke would have killed nope. it. Nope. I, I feel Shafi. I feel Shafi would have done I feel Shafi would have maybe Shafi, maybe Shafi not even Funke, maybe even maybe but, Shafi. For, but for Shafi, I think it's because um for me Shafi English Mark so much English, so <laughs> it would not it would not and then and then I have not seen Shafi move three emotions like all in one like go angry sad. 
cry, like all together in one scene. You know, you could see some scenes like for uh, Shola Shubwadi where somebody is saying something stupid and she's angry. Like, in a, she's just looking like, ah, 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 typical me, I for kid this one. And at the same time, she's now done. Like, she's giving, just like at the point when she was with Reverend Ifani, Reverend Ifani was just you. talking in the What's nonsense. She said, eh, but so well, your peace is I'm, actually I'm put there. I'm to be commended for, for his role. As, as, his role also. As in, so, so, so for me, but as if if I should just make it one dimensional, she would be she'll be a good fit for King of Boys. But can she give me three emotions rolled up in one? I am not I am not too sure. I, I, it may it may seem because let me tell you why I feel so. Shafi is so posh. She's she's too posh. <laughs> No, I'm Gosh. serious. Is, it, is she posher than, is she, allow me to use the word posher, is she posher than Rated Doyle? No, no, she's <laughs> as posh as Rated Doyle, but you yeah. see, she's as posh as Rated Doyle, and I think she would have, a, a better, a, the role that would fit Shafi Bello is not King of Boy, it would have been the role given to a mama, <laughs> Ajayi Lysette. Oh, Ajayi, oh, yeah. That, imagine a Shafi, Shafi being the mother-in-law, she would deliver that role, like she, she would kill, deliver, she would kill like, it. Perfectly. But being, but to be like straight. That, that mama, that mama, she's like one of the oh, best. She is a school actress. I'm, 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 I'm but then well. again, I wouldn't lie. It's a Tess movie. Yana, what it's not a stage play. Yeah. So I wasn't yeah. feeling her as much. Yeah. She was yeah, I overacting. I felt her. This is interesting. I felt her in some scenes. I felt her in that scene when, you know, they are big. So let's cut. I know so that. Was, so I felt so so her. It was more of like this is not a stage play. I really want oh, something, you know. She wasn't connecting with me. Uh for me, sense. for me, yeah, I, I mean, she, she gave that. I mean, looking at who Inse was in that role, oh, she yeah. she matched it. She, like, she, she broke matched, her wings. She broke yeah. her wings. Yeah. Yeah. She broke her wings. Yeah. 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 That's somebody like Mama Lysette. Rented, or rented a two bedroom for you at Aja. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, all right, guys. Wait, oh, are we not going to talk about what we do not like about the movie? Oh, <laughs> because okay. it, would look, it would look too good for us to say all the nice yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So for okay. so for, for for me, what I I didn't really like about the movie, in as much as I tried to use my inner mind to really understand and like really get every single thing, um, I felt like they jumped too much in some scenes. So I would have want to know. What did they speak? How did she get Makanaki to do a bidding? Right? That was one. I know, and you know, Makanaki that going on the way pretty, to go and do juju. Simple. It's pretty simple. Where I, where I know, I know, but like, so Makanaki to go and do juju that I want to kill this lady. And then, like, in two scenes later, on, like by now. I don't, know, I don't and, think, and I don't think he things. said he wanted to kill, he just wanted her. To leave that position for him. For so, him, okay. Maybe, yeah. maybe that's it. But but for me, I just felt like that was like the. It wasn't like missing story or something like that. Because I would actually, I really understand. But I then and then the, the second one was was that frame really? Did they really frame boxer for that, or did boxer really do it? Or I yes, was just trying to him. get Shalasho Ali to come back to a real king of boys role and just you know do a bidding and not just you know I, I so, feel, so that part for me was, like was right kind now. of I want to explain everything to you <laughs> i know right um and then the the, the the third thing for me that you know got me, so i love the movie but but those those very very small thing i feel if it wasn't maybe act that role you don't have to act that role but maybe a, a simple line dialogue or something would have you know Helped me to just really understand. Not surprised, right? No, but yeah, she, she, really... she, she, there was a dialogue actually because she actually mentioned it, and Yola, and Yola actually mentioned it, and Yola Salami said it that when Ojudu Bagba was like, "How did you? How did this happen?" She said it like said, "I wanted something. He wanted something. You wanted something. I wanted I to rule. Part. I wanted to rule as a governor. He, he wanted, wanted to, to get the church. So I mean, it was I, I, so for me, and do not forget that." It was just um, a situation. She, she she actually mentioned it because um, Makaraki was like a son to her, has always been like a son to her. Son to her. It, it was just that they had an issue and they could always resolve that issue. And how you would know was, you know, at the at a point of death in the cell, when Makaraki came to kill her. Yeah. She killed her. So, so yes. they, they, it's just that we're so used to. I know, I know, I know. For us. But, so, but I, I just, <laughs> but you're not, I just, you're not, I just, I just, I just really, you know, and now boxer part. I want to, 
Yeah, that really part is still how, like, so I will explain I, myself. I, uh, so I feel like, okay, so I feel like um, that part where we felt or we were made to believe that um, Adi Tiger was working for Are at a point. So, okay, and it meant that for what happened at the table to have happened, that meant that um, Oba was aware somehow. No, but I wanted to understand, or I feel like, how did she, I wanted to have, I would have loved to have seen her reaction when she realized that, oh, this is actually what was happening and all that. I don't know if you get where I'm coming from, because which, I know part? the part where um, we know that I'm, Ade was working for Are and all that, because I think maybe that's how she also figured out that Agnes was not someone for her to basically talk around. I think, I, so, so here's the thing. Okay. Yeah. For that part, I, I kind of understood that part because Ade was always checking his phone. Was always so you you could always see those very small tiny messages. I can yeah. remember I, I I know I kept telling my husband go back go back pause it let me read what is there. Message. And there's somebody that would always see you bring out your phone. Remember she's always in the car. I don't want, always I don't right, want to watch always a movie right, with her. right outside. So yeah, <laughs> what, what did you say? I don't want to watch a movie you don't with want you. To watch, oh, that'd be back. Oh, okay, so if, so if you actually see, you, you could always see him bring out his phone and like the look on his face, and then and he wasn't giving the phone to to KOB to say, um, this is a call or something like that. So th there was no way you would have actually noticed that. Like, so, okay, but I feel like, something, something, I feel like something. the thrill, the thrill on so, actually yeah. finding when she finds out so, and how so they guys, were able to so, to bear that part. Do you, know yeah. you do know that you do know that if you if she had if. They had, if Kemi had shown all those parts, you guys, they are taking away the suspense. Thank you. It because, would have taken no, no, no. I was actually Wait. expecting. For see, for me, I was actually expecting see. that part at that last scene. And if, that if, you table, follower, that table, if you were a follower, that table. I was expecting when when Odudu Baoba, uh, Bariba, what's his name, asked <laughs> that question, and yes. it's like, how did you actually expect it? Like, I'm sorry, I'm a Nigerian lady. I'm not exactly a flashback. Not exactly a flashback. Not exactly a flashback. I'm not sure it's exactly a flashback, but something like a line on how it happened, how she found out basically. Okay, okay so okay. I think I think I try. Oh, let me, you know I've not commented on this, so let me just okay. say this. Uh, um, um, so for me, uh, there were so many unanswered questions, uh, just like you guys. So I agree. So for I think instance, the answer is in part three. Yeah. So and okay. I, and I, and I want to say there are still questions about who Agnes is, and why is she still alive? you know and all of that yes because we don't even know who is she for but to answer what your concerns are Chi, the day they brought agnes you could see the way she looked, and Salami looked at the girl and for somebody as mysterious as anyola who, who who played a fool for the most part of the movie like she didn't know all, all, all that was going she knew that, that somebody who could plot all of those plot twists for us who, who could plan all of those things on inse you should know that people like Are or people like, you know, for her to have confidently gone to Are in the cell, she knew, she she knew, so she knew all the game. Like, that was why she went to visit him in the cell. I'm like, you, don't worry, I'm coming back for you, you know. So I you think those were, those were all the answers. <laughs> then that's one. Two, but I think the major reason, I, I am, I think, again, so please mark my words for anybody watching, I think is because is because they deliberately don't want to explain to us. Reason being this, more or less to leave out content content for us to yearn for another season. For another season, So yeah. people leave movies like that so that there are so many holes that you people would request that we want to feel. What happened to Agnes? What happened to this person? Because if, if all of that was answered, there wouldn't be a reason to ask. Three. Yeah, there'll be a reason to ask for that. That's, like, that's, that's just like I just like I want to know what eventually happened to that war and exactly. Jumoke because exactly. we know that what was said partly was true, partly wasn't true. So I know yes. they would want to and knowing the kind of person Jumoke is, she wouldn't yes. just let you slide yes. that way. Exactly. So it was going so to they, so, so they deliberately did that. And secondly, and I think more again, I think is that the movie was it was initially shot as a movie, oh, yeah. not even as a series. Really? Which will lead me to some of the bad parts. So it wasn't shot as a movie. It was later turned into a series. Now, I do not know at what point it was turned, but I know that initially it was just meant to be a movie for us to watch in the cinema, probably another three hours or four hours, but definitely not seven hours. Now, 
they now needed to extend it, which is one of the reasons why some of the dialogues were really extended. They were, re you know, long conversations that could have been cut short if it was just a movie. So, which is what for some people, for some critics, uh, they didn't find it interesting. Like some dialogue were just too unnecessarily long, you know. So that's one bad part, you know. I I, I want to start with. So I think that is also one of the reasons why we saw it like that. It's a limited series. They want us to yearn for more. And that's why they left those, you know, open, open plots and <laughs> for us to, to feel. Your, and it's just like, if you watch a lot of, I don't know why, you know, a lot of Nigerians are surprised, you know, why, why there are some. And if you watch a Kunle Afolayan movies, you will not go to fight. You will never, you will never. Fight because you, you can't ask the questions. So he will leave you with like... And that's his style. More like, uh, what's this guy's name? The acrimony guy. What's that his name again? Yeah. Tyler, um, Tyler Perry. Perry. He's he never ever sleep. just... Your he movie, was, his movies are always just that way. So he just you just have to... You people should be talking about it. To be, you're in for another one. So I think that's what um, Kemi did for us. So I don't know, um, Stephen, if we can now go to the bad parts that someone was... Okay, oh, she has even okay. said that. So my, for me, yeah. mine would be audio. Oh the audio. Yes. A lot. So to many people, audio was fine. So audio was fine. But audio wasn't great. So see that level of quality of picture needed to be matched with audio. I, I am privy to some of the you know issues on the audio, but for me, I think that was it for me. Let me give us an instance, and that's how you will know. For me, um, some of the dialogues looked um, um, like they weren't recorded properly in terms of they uh, they were over edited like like when you remove noise from audio so it didn't it didn't sound punchy yeah that's the word it didn't sound punchy enough for that level of quality of movie that's one two some of the uh, score the music score where in fact you will see it in the credits they got them online from libraries music library instead of them to take it to someone who is going to do a proper score for those lines. Uh, if you want to know what I'm talking about, look at that. Um, there were some parts that um, um, were so visible. This guy's entrance, Makanaki's entrance at the final scene, I feel should be more Marvel sound. You know, Marvel, you know, he should, no. you know when he was coming in, you know, we, went, we weren't all expecting I expect him, and when yeah. we, I saw it should be more in terms of audio, picture, Picture was good. The cinematography for that for that scene was really good. They had the lights behind him, which sort of gave us this heavenly entrance, you know, and all of that. But <laughs> it needed to have been matched with audio, with that yeah. level of audio and proper score. So I think I think that's the only major issue that I have with the movie. But the yes, that doesn't that, that doesn't make you. it that doesn't stop it from. They did not invite you. On set, yes. <laughs> uh -uh. Funny enough, there were, there were endless times Kemi came on Twitter and I was asking for specific things, like, so are, you think, at this, uh, are you at this? Uh, so there's one other it, thing, I don't know if it's a Netflix problem or a King of Boys problem. I think um, for languages that I understand, I hate when I'm hearing a sound, I'm hearing something different, and what is being translated, translated okay. It's, outside it like i'm like okay I, so i get someone that who i has, get that a for lot someone who has, for someone who has um um someone who has to depend on um the translation subtitles. or the, the subtitles, subtitles like the, the the message the person will be getting will be quite different from what um someone who has um someone who can hear the audio or who can understand the, the language, language would understand so it's going to we end up having various um, different experiences for different people. So I think, I don't know if it's a Netflix issue or because there was this part that was obvious, like when um, people were chanting, um, Eniola, Eniola, Kaige, so and all that. And the next thing I said, crowd chanting in Pidgin. Like, that's not Pidgin. <laughs> that is actually Igbo. You should have just said Igbo chants or something. Like, you know, why would this be Pidgin? So they'll be expecting, in their head, they'll be trying to think or figure out Sorry, what pigeon song can they be chanting or something? But well, it was actually Igbo, so why didn't you just go there? And there were so, a lot of them, but that was the one that stood out to me. And I, I, feel like I think I think that is really not Netflix. I think that's a, that's, an, that's that's Kemi's um, Kemi's issue. Yeah, uh, so it is, they have they have the editor. editor. Somebody who does the transcribing. 
Okay. So for the movie, so I think um, if we're going to blame anybody, it's going to be those people. So Kemi, Kemi, go back to the guy and move his money. <laughs> It should be some balance. So, so that movie is too much of a success to do that. I mean, they will always get they will always get better. If if the Marvel can still make mistakes, Game of Thrones can still make mistakes, or you know, so but it doesn't stop okay. them from being great movies. So. That did it. That that that's that's it for us, guys. Uh, thank you very much for giving us a an hour of your time. Thank you. You, oh, it's I've been yearning so to nice. like talk about this King of Voices like forever. Same like, here. Just <laughs> scratching. Same here. Just scratching me, sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate Hope, it. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have, we'll, have, we'll have to talk about this in, in three or in our next project, Den of Snakes. I know, right? Yeah. I hope you guys, hope you guys didn't miss the ending. The ending. Me. No, no, I had a good time. See, me. Why you guys didn't miss it? When they, because when that they just shows that there is definitely be a part three. Yeah, 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 who yeah. is that they pregnant for? Makanaki. Is it, is it, no, no, no. It could be a twist. She, it could be a red. You never know. Because she has such a rare. It could be. It could be. It could be. I'm just saying it could be. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. So <laughs> Makanaki, because he has four years to live. We know, we know. We know. So for I mean, I mean, so for me, um, even a movie is so great like that. Me, I would, I, even if it is Mexican film, I would look at the credits. I want to see the brains behind the project. So I made sure that I watched it. And uh, Kemi deliberately gave us gave us um, uh, all this Marvel style, where at the end credit scene, they will now they will now be showing you credits, some scenes, you know, and all that. So it was really, 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 really good. Really, yeah, really good. And I like the way the girl kids oh. are anyways, so... Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, 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 that's also a plot twist. That was a very good plot yeah. twist, right? And that's, a good, way to, expected... that's a good way to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't mind that. Right, oh. right to death. <laughs> yeah, right, oh right. right to death. And yeah, yeah, before we go, um, you know, a lot of people are saying there could be a spin-off. People are asking for a spin-off from the movies. People are asking for like an insane Anaja series or yeah. something or a movie, you know. Yeah, yeah. so let's let's <laughs> there's going to be a whole series. lot that will wow. come. There's going to be yeah. a whole lot that can come out from that movie, and yeah. I enjoyed my watch. Same here. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much Thank for having very me. Much, Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you, Stevie. Bye. Bye.